Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to make my super quick chicken and biscuits. This recipe reminds me of my childhood because it's sort of 70s style. We're going to use rotisserie chicken, some frozen mixed vegetables, and some refrigerator pop-out biscuits. So join me as we make chicken and biscuits. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little olive oil into our pan and we're going to saute up one onion that's been diced. Ooh, that's already sounds and smells good, right? You know something good is cooking when the onions start sizzling, right? And we're just going to saute these until they're translucent. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in four cloves of minced garlic. And garlic, remember, you always want to put in with the onions. Once the onions are pretty much translucent, you want to put the garlic in and saute it a little bit so it doesn't get bitter or burned. Okay, so now we're going to make a little bit of roux, and basically the roux is going to thicken our gravy. So with our onions and garlic in here, I'm just going to pop in a little bit more olive oil. And we're going to let that heat up a little bit. And then we're going to put in a couple tablespoons of flour. And we're going to cook this flour off. We don't want a raw flour taste. So we're just going to cook the flour a little bit. And the cooked flour is basically what's going to thicken up and thicken up our gravy. So we're just going to take the raw edge off of the flour. Okay, so now that our flour is thickened up a little bit, we're going or browned up a little bit and the raw edge is off it, we're going to go ahead and put two cups of chicken stock in here or chicken broth and we're going to scrape all that off the bottom we're also going to put in a cup of you can put in milk I'm putting in some almond milk just because I'm allergic to dairy Okay, so as this is thickening, we're going to go ahead and drop in one 12 ounce package of frozen mixed vegetables. This is why this recipe is so easy. And we're just going to let this heat up and it's going to start thickening. So I just put a um, glove on just for to keep it clean. And what I have here is some rotisserie chicken that has been chopped. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in whatever desired amount of rotisserie chicken you like. I'm going to put in probably three or four cups till I have a good amount. This is just to your tasting. So we're going to go ahead and let this thicken up some and then we're going to season it. So our um, chicken and gravy is thickening up nicely so now it's time to season it. So you can season it to your taste. I'm going to put a little granulated garlic in here. I know I put in some fresh garlic but I kind of like the concentration of the granulated garlic. I'm also going to put in some thyme. So I'm going to put a little bit of sage. This is some rub sage. I don't want to put a whole lot because I don't want it to taste too much like sage. So I'm just going to put a couple dashes in there. I'm also going to put in a little paprika for color. And we're going to go ahead and stir that up. 
paprika is not going to add a lot of flavor. It'll add a little bit, but it'll give us this nice little color on it. Make it interesting. We're going to also put in some fresh ground pepper. I like a lot. And I'm going to start out and put a little bit of salt. I'm going to put a little bit and because we have chicken stock in there, chicken broth, I'm going to put a little bit in there and then I'm going to taste it for, for um, seasoning, particularly salt. Ooh, it looks good. Mm. It's really, really good. It really doesn't need any more salt. So next we're going to put on the biscuits. Okay, so this was this is what makes this recipe so easy. We're going to use a can of biscuits. And these are the larger size biscuits. These are actually flaky layers, um, butter tasting. I guess they're supposed to taste like butter. And pretty much you pull off the label and you give her a little crack on the side of the counter and they open up. Makes it a little fun. If you want to make fresh homemade biscuits, go right ahead. Um, this is just a weeknight dinner, right? Um, and I'm still learning to make really good biscuits, so I'm not quite there yet. So we're going to go ahead and put the biscuits around here. Squeeze them in, depending on your size of your saute pan. I'm going to put one in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and put this in a 350 degree oven. Make sure that you have a saute pan that is oven safe, the handle. This one is full stainless steel. You can also do this in a cast iron pan. So we're going to put this in the oven. It's a little on the heavy side. And we're going to bake these off until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, our quick chicken and biscuits is ready to come out of the oven and it is nice and brown. And be careful because it's really hot and it's probably pretty heavy. Wow. They look really, really good. So, let's take a taste. Okay, so let's serve it up and it looks really, really good. We're going to go for this little baby right here. Wow. We're going to get some of the chicken, some of the vegetables. It looks delicious. This is going to be a very, very tasty dinner. Okay, so this looks pretty outstanding. I know it is a lot of stuff that's like frozen or, um, you know, we're using a rotisserie chicken, but it looks really good and it, it's really tasty for a quick week, weeknight meal. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. Really good. Let's get a little bit of the biscuit. Wow, with the gravy. Mmm. It's hot. <laughs> it really helps to flavor that gravy up. It um it's just comforting. It's quick. Your kids will love it. Mmm. I don't want to stop eating it. Wow. This is really, really outstanding, even if it is popped out of a can. If you like this recipe, please subscribe below and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at amylearnstocook.com.